welcome back to my channel so today I thought I would finally do my Sephora VIB sale the reason why it's taking me so long to do it honestly because I don't know if you guys really wanted to see a VIB haul or I should add it to like to a quarantine kind of haul thing but then I was like Sephora kind of is own ish you know like it's own vibe I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up and yeah that's that's basically it. it's gonna be a really short video if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when I post up a new video but yeah let's get started with this support haul The first thing I got was the Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation. Okay, everybody and their mama was raving about this foundation. Before the runner was a thing, okay? Everybody was um, raving about this foundation, how it was the perfect combination of skincare and makeup. And I was like, that's great, but I don't think I'm going to enjoy it. But I really, really wanted to pick it up. I was gonna pick it up in February, but then I was like, you know what? Let me wait for the VIB sale and then I will definitely pick it up. So that's what I did. I picked it up in the shade R540 which is a dark brown and I'm just kind of show you guys a swatch so that is the swatch of the foundation right there I worn it during these quarantine times and honestly I actually like how it looks on my skin it's almost like a light to medium coverage and I really enjoy it like it looks super duper nice so I'm always excited to try that and then I got the Beauty Blender Bounce Airbrush Liquid Whipped Concealer and I got it in the shade 4.40 n which is a deep neutral this is the packaging and that is the wand okay do you guys see the wand on that it is the most odd looking wand ever but it applies products so nicely so that's the shade right there for the concealer but the wand is just so interesting i don't mind it i don't mind the wand the wand is fine but i don't know how i feel about the concealer because the first time i used it underneath my eyes it burned i used it again and it didn't burn but i felt a tingling sensation so if anybody has used this concealer please let me know if it's supposed to burn underneath your eyes i don't think that's normal but whatever and then i picked up the milk makeup hydro grip primer i tried the sample size so long ago and so i was like i need to pick it up so but you guys know the texture of the hydro grip it's like that right there it's such a good primer i actually thoroughly enjoy this primer and that's like the funny thing because i didn't think i would ever buy the full size but i did and then I got the ginormous Morphe Glam Bronze Face and Body Bronzer in the shade Leader. And I was so hesitant to get this because I was like, oh my gosh, this might not match me. It's maybe too light. I'm currently wearing it. And it's almost similar to the shade that I use in my Fenty one. So if I just swatch that, so that's the swatch of Leader right there. And then if I grab my Fenty Mocha Mommy Bronzer, which you guys know i love so my fenty mommy is the one that's at the bottom and then the morphe one is at the top it's kind of a similar um color family so it worked for me i love that it's huge when am i ever gonna run out this bronzer never i love it but i want to grab another one the shade supreme because i feel like supreme is more closer to mocha mommy and then of course i socked up on some skincare i socked up on the ule henriksen balancing force oil control toner okay if anybody has used this in the past did they change the packaging it looks so much more bigger to me because i haven't bought this in a minute and when i got it i was like nah they changed this because it doesn't it didn't used to look like this well it did the packaging is the same but it looks like they are giving us more product in it i don't know but i love this toner and i will do a video on how i kind of brought my skin back from the treacherous times of terrible texture you guys see in my videos um my skin is still you know healing but it looks really really good right now so and then for moisturizer of course i got the clinique dramatically different gel i think everybody knows how this like moisturizer works it's a nice gel moisturizer feels super hydrated on the skin they have different gel moisturizers for different skin types so check that out and then i got the fenty beauty cheeks out freestyle cream blush 
so when i bought this i thought i was like oh my gosh i'm so excited i'm gonna get this blush i watched reviews on it to see like what shades i wanted and everybody was not happy with it so i got the shade before i watched the review so i got the shade fuego flesh which is the orange okay and i was super super excited i was like yes this gonna be a nice orange blush on me it wasn't that is fuego flesh hold on y'all can't see it that is fuego flesh right there do you guys see that it's literally a highlighter not an orange blush so i was like oh that's super upsetting that like it's not an orange blush but you know what i think i'm okay because i tried it as a highlighter on top of my reboot foundation and oh my god my skin was Bomb. okay it looked so good it sucks that it doesn't have the payoff that i want but i actually like it as a highlight like i'm not hating on it and patricia bright she also did a review on all of her new collection just the same thing about this so i was like okay so. so next i got the mac stud eyebrow styler i want to get a new brow pencil so that's it right over there this is like a cult favorite at mac and then I got two items from Melt Cosmetics. One of them doesn't match me and my sister has them and then I have the other one. The, this is the Melt Ultra Matte Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Molten, which is a brown liquid liner. I'm super stoked that I got this actually because I don't have a brown liquid liner. You guys can see that it's a nice dark brown. I went somewhere during this self-isolation and I wanted to try it out really, really badly. And I put this on and I loved it. Like you couldn't see it was there, but it was there. I honestly love this so much. Hands down, like a really nice, it's super pigmented. It dries matte. The blush on the other hand, lies, lies it tells. Online it was swatching like this beautiful deep orange. I was like, yes, I got it. It was so light that it looked ashy on my skin tone. So I gave it to my sister to see if it would work for her. If it doesn't work for her, it goes to my mom. That's how we do it. And then I picked up two of the Marc Jacob mini glosses. I have in the shade Sugar Sugar and Pink Parade. I've never tried Marc Jacob glosses. Um, first of all, that's expensive. And second of all, and the festive really intrigued me. So I just got these two shades because everybody always talks about these shades i mean it talks about sugar sugar a lot so sugar sugar and pink paradise right over there people talk about these glosses a lot so i wanted to try it out and then the last thing i got for the vip sale was the morphe 35 h palette full of blues and corals because i wanted palette i don't need another palette but you know it was speaking to me and i was like i actually had to try it out so i'm gonna swatch a few of the shades here making sure i'm picking up the shades well so y'all can see pigmentation of it so here is one swatch here so those are some swatches of the palettes honestly i'm I'm super excited to use this eyeshadow palette because definitely like I like the color blue apparently on my eyes so this kind of gives me like a blue kind of gold look here and then kind of like a pink coral look here which is great and yeah but that is actually everything I got for the Sephora VIB so if you guys enjoyed this haul please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next one Bye. Truth, I'm scared to tell. There are deal.